Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up guest mode on your Roku TV. And this can be a really nice feature to use if you have your Roku TV set up in a house that you're renting out or using as an Airbnb, for instance. So what we wanna do from the homepage of our Roku is go down to settings. Then we're gonna go over and down to find where it says guest mode. Now it is possible that your Roku device does not have guest mode compatible, so then it wouldn't show up in this area. But if you do have guest mode available, it will show up here in your settings. Then we can go over to where it says enter guest mode. Now, if you don't already have a pin code set up for your Roku account, we can do this over at roku.com. And I'll take you over quickly to roku.com to show you how to set this up. Once we're on Roku's homepage, what we want to do is click on sign in in the upper right hand corner. Then we're going to sign in to your Roku account, and we're going to do this with, of course, the email and password that are associated with that Roku account. Once you've entered in that information and cleared the CAPTCHA, then you can click sign in. After you sign in, what we're going to do is hover over our icon here in the upper right-hand corner and go down and click on where it says My Account. In your My Account area, we can go down to Device Settings and click on where it says PIN slash Parental Controls. Click on that. And then to create a PIN, we can do so by clicking the Create a PIN option. This pin is gonna be four digits, so enter in the four digit pin code that you want here and then click save pin. And my pin preferences have now been updated. So now after we've set up our pin code, what we wanna do at this point is go over to the pin code area and enter in the four digits of our pin code. After doing that, click okay on where it says okay. And at this point, it's double checking to make sure that you want to do this because entering guest mode will sign you out out of all of your subscriptions and restart your TV. So make sure that you want to do this. Click OK on where it says enter guest mode. Once you're in guest mode, this is what it's going to look like to your guests when they turn on the Roku TV. It says welcome, enjoy your stay, watch TV, use your own streaming subscriptions. All of your info will be removed when you check out. So then you click OK on where it says select checkout date. Then it says, when are you checking out? And at 11 a.m. on this particular date that you choose, all of your information will be deleted from this TV. So if they've logged into their accounts, that login information will be deleted and it will reset the TV back into guest mode for the next guest. So let's just say I'm gonna pick the date here of October 22nd. So on October 22nd at 11 a.m., it will log out of any apps that I might have logged in using my information. It will be deleted and reset. So I'm gonna click OK for that checkout date and time. So now in guest mode, it'll just have some standard apps here that your guests could log into or some free content that they could use as well. They can also download and install different apps through the streaming store. And there's some additional guest options here in the guest options menu. You can sign out and clear your info whenever you want by clicking OK on this option. You also have the ability to change your automatic sign out date if you'd like to do that. And then if you'd ever like to take this device out of guest mode, what you can do is go down to settings. And then again, in the settings, we're gonna go back down to guest mode. And then you can go down to where it says exit guest mode, enter in that pin code here, click OK, and then it will reset your Roku TV back to its normal settings and it will take it out of guest mode. Some additional things I wanna walk through at the end of this video, you can access additional information yourself on guest mode through your Roku account. And I'll show you what those options are over on the roku.com webpage. So to wrap up this video back at roku.com, we're gonna go to our account here in the upper right hand corner, click on where it says my account. And to see those additional guest mode options for the device that you've set it up for, you can go down to my devices. And I had set that up on this particular device, so I'm gonna click on it. You have the ability to remotely turn off guest mode from your Roku account for whatever device that you pick. And you can do that by clicking on this little slider right here. So right now it's slid to the off position. If I wanted to slide it on, I can click right here enter in that pin code, then click turn on guest mode. So you don't even have to be at the rental yourself to turn guest mode on and off to whatever Roku device that you have set up in your Roku account. And if you'd like to customize the welcome greeting that your Roku will have when guests turn on your TV, you can click edit right here. And you can customize that welcome in this area and click save, or you can just use the default and cancel out of this. Additionally, from this page, you'll be able to see when a guest has signed in and when they have selected to sign out, you'll be able to see that information right down here. So I had signed in and selected the date of October 22nd to have it automatically sign out. This gives you additional control down here where you have the option to sign out the guest manually yourself by clicking this option down here at the bottom where it says sign guest out. And it says, do you want to sign this guest out now? All channel and account info will restore to your guest mode at defaults and it'll show you their scheduled sign out date. But if you'd like to manually do it yourself, you can click yes, sign guest out now, clicking that option right here. 
and that will reset the Roku device back to its initial guest mode phase. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can set up guest mode on your Roku TV. And Roku has done a tremendous job of making this as easy as possible, even allowing you to remotely control the guest mode through your Roku account as seen here. I'll link this article down in the description from Roku support that goes through guest mode, all of its features, if you would like to take a look at this information for yourself. So thanks for stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys back here next time.